Hey guys, this is Gitsumar and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last battle, we defeated Dulce, enjoyed a little flashback cutscene, and then here we are uh, doing the little outro for Chapter 4. Uh, what? Oh, that's right. Sorry, I kind of dozed off there for a moment. Because uh, they are boring, like if you're doing a second play within that, you almost want to skip these things. Anyway, I think I will have a grape candy now because I cut it open. Okay, enough of that. And let's just enjoy the cutscene. Which ain't that bad, actually. But it really makes you appreciate a lot of the artwork here because it's really well done. This one looks much, but then again, it's an older painting, so yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait till September 22nd. First preseason game for the Oilers. Will be amazing. I kind of lost interest with the Edmonton Eskimos, because, well, we lost to Calgary by, for like, 40 points twice. So it's like, they're dead for the season, they're gone. And you can't even make the playoffs from the crossover, because, like, all the East teams are playing good. And we're freaking, like, 2-7 and seven or 2-8. and eight. So we're like the Hamilton of, uh, this year. Well, what the hell is that? Oh, and it's done, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's done. But here we are, in Burrow Castle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that throne. Somebody spent a lot of money, looking nice. God, imagine if someone played baseball, you'd just shatter the whole castle. Yes, Baroque Castle. Like home run. You yeah, little bastard. You dance so beautifully. I wish I could dance like that. Yeah, and wow, I never knew Frederick was that good either. Yeah, he got he picked up like five women. Good at what? At the piano, of course. Weren't you watching? Didn't you see him playing? Sorry, I zoned out when I see something so shiny. Amazing. Way better than any piano player I've ever heard before. It was almost like he was a real professional pianist. Cough, cough. What? Are you saying Frederick was playing that music? I was watching the people dancing the whole time. I didn't pay any attention to who was playing the music. See? Clueless, ditzy blonde girl. Hey, you guys. We have to go see the captain. Hurry. His name's Crescendo. Just say you Crescendo, goddammit. You two need to stop calling him the captain. You should call him Prince Crescendo, for he is the Prince of Baroque. Yeah. I'll bet the captain's going to have a face prepared to thank Frederick for playing the piano. It isn't fair if they get a head start. All oh, the food's gone already. So Frederick has already gone to join Prince Crescendo? Yeah, and if we don't hurry up, they'll eat all the food. I wonder if they're going to feed us something really good. Come on, let's go. And of course, the mind goes to food and anything else is completely redundant and ignored. Oh, yeah, we get control, and I forgot where everything is in this damn castle. Oh, crap. Uh, actually, be right back. I'm gonna see if there's anything important. Okay, I got myself a little paper to go by. I'll go through the audience chamber, take the southern exit. Alright. Then take the first right. Should be this, I suppose. I'll first arch on the right into the east part. To the second room on the left. Ooh, Scorpius 10. Okay. And it's, if we inspect the dresser, we get. Hey, get in my way. Don't make me smack you. They go in the right room. Oh, here we go. We get Scorpius 10. Yay! And we return to the main hallway. Then we go straight ahead. And into the room at the end. And we search the grandfather clock, I believe. Oh, wait. I was just here. Where the hell am I going? Oh, left to the west hallway. Ugh, my bad. 
Uh, not here. Uh, God damn it, I'm sorry, I'm being lost, but, um... Well, I'm trying to get the score pieces, because those are what matter. And there's a safe one here, but, um... The grandfather clock in here, isn't there? One of these rooms, let's go check it out. Oh. I'm in the wrong place. God damn it. Sorry. I forgot this is what happens after Dulce, but let's go up the stairs. And, oh, uh, we'll go up the stairs. Straight ahead and into the room at the end, okay. And this one? I suppose it's this one then. Uh. What the hell? There's no need to clean up and don't come in here uninvited. Aw. Bully. Clean what? Haha. Uh -huh. We're impoverished. So now nah, we're the cleaning crew. Not really. Uh, grandfather clock, grandfather clock, where the hell's a goddamn clock? Uh... I know it's around here somewhere. Sorry, I'm lost. Uh... Uh, maybe it's up here. Oh boy, it is well. All the people, like, dress so nice and that is insane. And where the heck is the door? Uh... Wow, I went in a complete circle. Did not expect that. I believe that's where we want to go, but screw it, let's go in here. There we go, Grandfather Clock. And we get... Score piece 11, or... yeah. All right, now we're gonna go um, to the where the guard is. Yay! Mr. Chopin, thank you for your stellar performance. Allow me to introduce my fiance. This is Serenade, and the little one with her is Minuet. Hello, I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. That's one preppy dog. Hey, Aww. what's going on here, Salsa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought they were probably gonna eat all the good stuff before we could get here. There is something I wanted to tell all of you about the position Baroque is in right now. Count Waltz is using mineral powder to convert his population into soldiers who fear nothing, not even death, to create an unstoppable army. As soon as his preparations are complete, it is almost certain that he and his armies will invade Baroque. However, if Baroque were to preemptively challenge Forte, many innocent civilians would surely get caught up in the resulting all-out war. It's a nice looking sword. The suffering of innocence is one of the greatest tragedies of war. It's appalling. That it is. No, I already missed an so, item already. What are you gonna do now? Well, I thought that the solution to the problem would be to find a way to assassinate Count Waltz to avoid any other casualties. Yeah, just cut the so throat I of the guy. Tino. But you see, I am opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of war against Forte. Well, obviously. And if we were to do that, would it not be the same kind of evil for which Count Waltz is responsible? Blood for blood, yeah. History always repeats itself. Even if we managed to succeed in assassinating Count Waltz, another Count Waltz would appear, then another. The problem itself would still remain. Or oh, you just destroy the castle and then you're if good to go. Put all our support behind a band of rebels. I believe it will be Baroque that is disgraced in the end. A little late for that. I see. And you're correct. Looking back on history, mankind does indeed repeat the same mistakes, over and over again. And not like it's changed. Someone else with evil designs will surely appear to fill the void. If it's really as important as all that, how can people just forget about it? Because they're retarded. It's because the passage of time allows us to forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Ah, uh, Salsa fell asleep. 
Like letters written in sand and then blown away by the wind. They're all forgotten. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have oh, she woke up. firmly in stone, so that the wind can never blow them away. I have a favor to ask. I understand that all of you are acquainted with Jazz? There is a message I would like you to pass on to him. It is this. Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. No matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, there is no way we can be absolutely certain that he will ever attack us. Cough, cough. If we were to make a preemptive strike against him, it would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading him to war. Serenade, I know in my heart that everything you've said is correct. That's why I wanted... What is it, Captain? It's nothing. We must achieve true peace, not simply the appearance of it. But, because of the current situation with Forte, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Because you'll be killed on the Besides, spot, practically. If I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. They already know. Is there any way you could meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? What do you mean, exactly? You want us to inform Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions? I know that it's selfish of me to ask this of you. Yes, you're right. As you say, it is rather selfish of you. Oh, snap. Uh, Frederick? Up until now, you have been providing Andantino with support, is that correct? Denying them that support because your opinions have changed is rather irresponsible. Oh, snap. That may be true, but you must understand. We have come to realize that the actions we have taken up to this point have been mistaken. Regardless of the criticism that we may face later, should we not correct those mistakes? I imagine it won't be difficult for the two of you to shake off any criticism. However, have you stopped to consider what this will do to Andantino, who will be cut off without any warning? Of course, it wasn't our intention for the people of Andantino, or Forte, to suffer. And yet, as the Prince of Baroque, I have a duty to put the welfare of my people above all else in any decision. Then, Prince Crescendo, do you admit that you are merely using Andantino to push forward the interests of Baroque? It is rather convenient that your ties to a rebel band from a neighboring country could so easily be severed once the need arose. That is not true. Prince Crescendo would never do anything like that. That's enough. Oh, she almost got smacked. Jazz and I have known each other since the days of our youth. We may have different social positions, but has always been someone I could confide in and speak openly to. Really? I didn't know that. But then, why is Jazz living in Forte instead of here? Are you familiar with Mount Rock? It's a mountain rich in ore located on the Forte border. I know all about it, thanks to all the digging Forte's been doing out there. Hagogo Forest is in big trouble. That's for sure. Anyways, we're out of time, guys. So next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will have more cutscene action. Oh, boy. So see you next time, guys. Bye.